it's finally here and I'm so excited. I can't believe it's finally here. For those of you who don't know or clicked on the video, didn't pay attention to the thumbnail or the title of the video, this right here, the one and only Carry All Studio that Jazza has released. It's finally come in, just to catch everyone up to speed. September 21st, Jazza launched the Kickstarter for the bag. And I have to say, it was one that I was so excited for because despite having my own art bag that I love and had for years, got me through college, I wanted this bag really unique and I said, you know what, I want to back it. So the day it launched, I backed it and I actually did the Muse kit. So not only did I get a Jazza carry-all, I also got a Jazza light, $100 of art supplies, and the pledge gold. Very excited about that. We are going to do a live unboxing. We're also going to do a bit of a review on it. Take a look at it, get my honest to God opinions, and see what we have. So, oh, oh my God. Okay, so there were two. I chose the wet media one and here it is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got the pledges. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we're gonna unbox this in a minute. The studio light I'm gonna give to my wife, Sarah, and she picked out, here it is, and then, oh, here's mine. I can see the red, oh my, God. okay. So, pop the light first, because that was on top, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, comes in this nice white bag. Let's see. Oh my gosh, here it is. The Carry All Studio Light. Ah, Jazza right there. It's nice, firm. This is vegan leather. That's one of the features of it. Oh my gosh, the feels, this feels so, so high quality. I have to say, Jazza, you have outdone yourself once again. This is a phenomenal quality of a product. Let's go ahead and get the Carry All Studio. Go ahead and open this up and oh. It's beautiful. You guys know me, I had to go with Azalea Crimson. Oh, look at that. So nice. I love that. Jazza right there. This is a nice bag. Not new car smell, but new bag smell. That is cool. So this is the light, this is the carry all, and then we have an exclusive and autographed Jazza print. That is so cool. But we have, looks like some inks. We also have the really nice keychain. Very cool. We'll get some close-up shots on this, but we got some brushes, so we got ink. And I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it's a glass dip pen, and that's actually a really nice dip pen. Cool, so we have quite a bit of loot to go through. We have quite a lot to look at, and let's do a fun deep dive into what we have here, because I think this is a truly special bag. What's up guys, I'm Jay Rod of Balboa Productions, new channel, welcome. We craft amazing comic book style illustrations, variety of different mediums. But today's gonna to be a bit of a special video because we are finally taking a look at the Jazza Carry All Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing that happened because those were my genuine first reactions to finally getting this product in my hand. And I have to say, after like looking at this behind a screen, it's so surreal to finally have this in person. I am so excited. Now, those of you who don't know, the Jazza Carry All Studio was launched by Jazza. He essentially wanted to create a bag that not only would carry all your stuff, but would essentially look good in a college, academic, or professional environment. And I have to say, the design of this bag is phenomenal. Now, this is the Azalea Crimson, and my wife did pick out turquoise one right here for the light. We'll be reviewing both of the bags, along with going into in-depth looks at all of them, list their features, and then after that, we're going to talk about the extra stuff that came with my Muse kit, mainly because I don't want to intercut them because I know some people may have not gotten the Muse kit. I also was tempted to delay this video a week by going out and actually testing this bag in some urban environments, going out, sketching, carrying my stuff. Right now, I want to see how it feels, the features, how my stuff will fit into it, and also essentially do a follow-up video talking about that later on. Now, what my standards for a bag will be, will be based off of my actual art bag. I got this years ago. This was a gift from my mom. I love this bag, and I did a video talking about it right here, so if you want to know what this bag is, along with what I personally carry with my traveling art supplies, please go ahead and check that out. But this will be my standard and what I will be comparing this bag too. So I'm really curious to see what it has and let's go ahead and do a quick rundown of the features based off of the Kickstarter. It has a top carrying handle, removable backpack straps, removable shoulder straps, and a removable marker carrier. There's also a quick access magnet rear pocket, backed and felt line luxury carrying pocket ideal for laptops, large main pocket with a water resistant liner, small and medium zipper components for quick access items such as headphone, charger bricks, pens, art supplies, and etc. Extra large zipper pouch component ideal for power cords and can easily 
easily be adjusted to allow it to still remain there while setting up a charging port station and has two elastic trim side pockets for drink holders. So I'm really curious about that. Let's go ahead and also look into what this has. For one, absolutely love how that stands on its own, something that this bag cannot. I know it's a little thing, but I really like how Jazza put his name right there on the tag and on um, both of them, they look really, really nice. But this is just one of those details that just screams to me a lot of thought and attention went into. And that's really what sold me on this product and the Kickstarter is the amount of attention that went into it. Starting from the rear, we have the quick access magnetic pocket, which these magnets are very nice. They even have a little protective coating on them. So they're nice and clean when you first get them. No scratches at all. Click very easy. The idea, I guess, is that you would have this maybe on a convention, you need to access some quick stuff. But the fact this magnetic keeps it secure and also is really nice too, because it prevents it from being stolen. And on both sides, we have that thermos holder right here or bottle holder. I'm actually curious if my thermos will fit in it because I have a bit of a big thermos. And here's my thermos. And yes, it is covered in stickers that I've gotten from the job I've worked at, from customers, from coworkers. There's a Lisa sticker right there, linked in the description. She does awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and see if this will fit in here. Doubt it because this is a bit of a bigger bottle. So I'm not going to be heartbroken if it does. Oh, oh my gosh. So that fits right in there. And that means it'll fit right here too. So you do have one on both sides. So if you're someone who has two thermoses, there's a bag for you. Taking a look at the handle, one feature I like about it is it's very wide. I personally have big hands, so I do like that. Also, it's designed to fit across a suitcase for easy transport. I really like that because one feature about this bag is that it has not a handle, but a whole slide right here where you can unzip and put this on a suitcase. So I really like that they integrated that for easy travel. And I'm really curious to see how stable this is going to be. So we'll do a quick little test of that footage right here on screen while I'm talking. And then we're gonna go to the front of the actual bag itself. Absolutely beautiful. It's vegan leather and it feels just like the real thing. Super high quality and the design is the Jazza mural. So very cool. Folding it up, we have again those two magnetic clasps that are super high quality. And we have our first pocket right here. Taking a look at, we have our two straps. That's right. We have not just a normal strap for carrying it like a messenger bag, but we also have the two backpack straps. So we'll get a quick little video of me carrying it like a backpack. Super cool. I actually really like the design of this. This right here is the main strap that I'll personally be using. And one thing I love, it's metal on the side and here. That was one complaint I actually had with my original bag was I was super nervous that because it was plastic, it would break. But here, having it be metal, again, show the high quality and it also to me shows how much attention went into it let's go ahead and clip it in and let's see how comfortable this sits so we're going to fold it and yeah that sits like perfect for me I like that that's got a good feel to it it's good height I can open this easy very comfortable the padding on this is nice again it's that sturdy canvas material opening it up we can see right here this is a big work area like look at that you can really fit a lot in there and there's more because this zips right here so we have another pocket right in here. In fact, one thing that's very interesting is I already can see putting stencils in here for me and then putting my main components in here. Then we have our three pockets right here. One design element that I'm glad they changed, well, they did incorporate the actual pocket right here for your power cord, which I think is super clever. They originally wanted it at the bottom, but I'm glad they changed it because this here really allows you to have that prop balance, but also still be able to access your laptop charging cord. This right here is the smaller pocket, which is meant for some quicker stuff. For me, I'm definitely gonna put my headsets in there and my headphones. This is the pocket I'm the most excited for. So this big one right here, we open it up, we see that we can pull out this tray, which is designed for markers. And as you can tell, I have a lot of markers. I'm really excited to see what we can do with this. So first off, we have two, 24 slots for markers, 12 on each side, so very cool about that. Let's go ahead and just quickly load this to see what we can actually put in here, because I have a few different brands, and I'm curious which ones will fit in here and which ones won't. All right, here we are with our marker case filled up, and yeah, this actually is holding them all really well. I was a little nervous that some of the bigger markers, such as the Copic Classic, wouldn't fit in here, or even like some of these Fiber Castell ones, but no, this actually is doing a really good job, and this will slide right back in right here, and then let's see if we can close it, which yes, we can. 
You just gotta get the markers so that they're even in there. And yeah, that's amazing. The fact that we have an entire spot dedicated just towards markers is phenomenal because so many graphic designers and animators and illustrators, we use these stuff all the time. So I love the extra attention to detail. And the fact that we could pull this out and place it down and use it as a shelf, that is just a great feature. Like just plop it and be like, all right, I wanna use this one. And we could just put it back. Like that is such attention to detail. That's the quality that I've come to expect from Jazza. Awesome, I love this feature. After lowering this with random markers, I did decide to go back and put actual markers that I really do use and carry with me. So, And we're gonna take a look at the little laptop pocket right here. And then we're actually gonna take everything out of my old bag, put it into this new bag, see if it can hold everything. And more importantly, if it does, how much more can we put into here? So I'm really curious about that. But opening the little laptop compartment here, I have to say I was really impressed because it's a softer material, very different from the rest of the bag. But I really do like this little extra flap in here so that you can put a little extra device in there, maybe something smaller like a tablet. This right here feels very high quality. I love how it's in the back. It's not actually under this flap. So it's a quick access right after the normal quick access, but it's still secure. So you don't have to worry about losing it. So I absolutely love that feature. Uh, the zippers, by the way, are super solid. They feel very nice. It's metal. This is all really high quality. Like that's the thing I have to get across to you guys. This is the highest quality messenger bag I have ever touched. It is the highest quality one I have ever owned. I love the feel of this. So what we're going to do now, because I think it'll be really cool. We have the markers loaded in here. Before we talk about the sketch light, let's go ahead and fill this guy up with everything from our old bag. First off, the weight is super nice. It's very distributed. I really feel like the strap can hold everything and it's just very comfortable, honestly. Second, it did take everything that was in the old bag, which is pretty impressive. Granted, I did notice one kind of small little thing. It's a nitpick from me. With my old bag, there was a slot for little individual pencils. And in this new bag, there really isn't, mainly because this pocket right here, I think could have benefited from that. Yes, they did do the big large part right here where you could fit a bunch of markers which I love, but having something like that in here probably would have been really beneficial. That's just me. Everything else I could fit in here. And then opening the main part up right here, it took everything. I mean, I have my pencil case, my watercolor, my Prismacolor marker set, and my two sketchbooks plus my thing of stencils. So like this thing definitely took a lot and I could still fit more. That's the thing. And granted, I will say because I have my own little marker shelf in here, I probably don't need to have this because now I have double the markers. Like that's the thing. I also went through and filled this guy up with my travel set and yeah I am impressed that I have that many markers in this bag so well organized like look at this it's just taking it all and I could still fit more if I wanted to in fact kind of curious what else we could put in there but we'll tackle that later I have to say I am genuinely impressed and this is going to be my new art bag now that we did the look over test everything and we will be doing a follow-up video where we'll be using this in the field now on to the carry-on light which as you can tell is half the size as the carry all studio I have to say I'm genuinely impressed with how many features they fit into such a small little thing taking a look at those features from the Kickstarter it has a carry handle on the top removable back straps removable shoulder straps and a removable marker container but also has quick access rear pocket with a water resistant lining main storage pocket with weather resistant lining medium zipper component and two elastic trim side pockets interestingly it actually doesn't say that it can hold a thermostat but instead offers pens and other small things mainly because this definitely is a lot smaller than the actual carry-all but looking at it again it's super high quality feels phenomenal vegan leather that blue looks phenomenal and gorgeous but looking on the back we have that first rear pocket with again that water resistant lining opening up we have our main pocket which I already opened so I could pull out the straps two backpack straps and a normal shoulder strap this also, by the way, the handle on top will fit on top of a suitcase just like this one. We'll do a quick test footage right here. And continuing our look down, this is quite a big, so like I definitely feel like I could fit like a small sketchbook in there. And if we open up this pocket in the back, we do have a little zipper in here. With a bit of a more shallow pocket, I think that would actually be really good for some loose pencils. And then in the front, let's go ahead and open it. We have another marker shelf, which has two. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
16 slots for markers. Really cool. I'm not going to bother filling this one up because we already filled up the other one. But yeah, I actually kind of like this one, how it opens up fully on the side so it opens up a little more. This one doesn't because of the geometry of that, which I'm perfectly fine with. The actual sketchbook light is a really solid little bag. Like, this is nice. My wife is going to love this as a cool new little purse. This also came in the perfect time for Valentine's Day, so a little Valentine's Day gift, you know what I'm saying? I am really impressed with this right here. I'm not going to fill this guy up because, well, everything that I have is already in this bag, and I'm really not interested in using this one as much because of the type of art that I make. I usually lean towards these bigger bags and bigger sheets of paper, so this one definitely kind of has more of my interest, but you could definitely fit a good amount in this guy. Like, this is nothing to shy away from. I really like this overall. Now we did a really solid look at the Carry All Studio and the Carry All Light. I really want to go into some of those extra features. Starting with the Kickstarter bonus, you did get an alternate shelf for pencils. So one for the light and one for the main one. And I think this is a really solid, really smart decision. Personally, I would have seen one for the actual side smaller pocket that's on the Carry All Studio. But I think this is a phenomenal addition. And this right here will hold... <laughs> 48 pencils, so that's actually nothing to shy away from. And this small one will hold 32 pencils, so that's a lot. That's a really good, really nice Kickstarter goal that I thought was really worth getting. And the second one was this really nice keychain. I love this. On the back, it says, thank you for supporting, and I think that's awesome. I love the design of this, by the way. Like, the brush and the pencil, that just looks amazing. I'm going to put this proudly on my bag, so I think that's really cool. Now, that's it for the Kickstarter bonuses. And second to last, the Muse Kit. Now, there are two that you can get, a dry media or a wet media. I went with wet media because I do a lot of inking and watercolor. It was definitely just more up my alley. Opening the little bag here, we have quite a few different items, including a really beautiful glass dip pen. I know I showed it off in the beginning, but I love that. Just pure white that looks so cool. Almost looks like a wand for magic. It actually is a similar design to this one that I have right here. Actually, no, it has a different spiral design. So that's really cool. We also got some fine liners, and these are water resistant. Personally, I prefer waterproof ones, but hey, I always can use some more fine liners, so that's really cool. Cool. We also got some Marubu inks, it looks like. Popping these open, we have the Marubu Aqua Ink Sunshine Yellow, Vermilion, which you guys know I'm a sucker for red and vermilion. And surprisingly, we have some Speedball Calligraphy ink. I actually wasn't expecting that, so we got a little bottle of that. We also got a Fibercast Cell set of the 12 Gold Fiber Aquas. These are essentially the student-grade aqua versions that they make, so very excited about that. I actually have a couple watercolor pencils, so we'll do something cool with those. And speaking of doing something cool, we gotta have some brushes to do that. I I have never heard of this brand. It is B-O-M-E-I-J-I-A. I am dyslexic. I am not going to try to pronounce that, but these brushes look pretty good, so really excited about that. Oh, we got a little travel water mug. These things are really perfect because sometimes you just need to have a little cup for your water, so let's actually pop this dude. Yeah! Look at that. I actually really like that. Doesn't want to collapse. Oh, wait. No, he does. Okay, I just did it wrong. These are cool. So these are paper watercolor like selectors, so you actually have a bunch bunch of watercolor on these little paper tickets that you can just add water to and pull from. These are really cool. I've never used these, so this is going to be exciting. And then we actually do have some watercolor blocks, which I don't know how to pronounce that company, but I have used their paper before. They are phenomenal, so very good high quality watercolor paper. The secret to good watercolor. And then what's this last thing here? These are unbranded watercolor markers. Normally I don't like watercolor markers. It's a hit or miss for me because I don't understand the purpose of it. I now kind of have gotten more used to them, but that is everything that's in the Muse kit. So definitely, like if we add all this up, yeah, this is easily $100 worth of stuff. This is a good amount of stuff. I am very happy about that. We have one more thing to look at and review, and that is this, the autograph Jazza illustration. And yeah, this is so cool. This this is amazing. What I like about Jazza, and it, it's easy to get on the hype train of someone that you enjoy their work. And while I don't personally know Jazza, I really like the energy and the feel and just he's just himself on camera like for me I try to be myself I'm a little cartoony but I'm cartoony in real life if you know me but I love how he not only puts himself and really thinks things through but I love in this illustration he tried to put other people in it and well I don't see someone that looks like me I could see Sarah saying that guy in the middle looks like me I still get the feeling that I'm in this picture and I love that this is so cool this is a nice little thing that he did I love the feel 
reveal of not only the bag, but the whole thing around the bag. Like, he did a good job making it clear, like, this is for artists. This is for people that you want to grow and mature and push your craft and you want to take it seriously. And I really, really do like and respect that. And I have to say, after looking over everything, looking at the Carol Studio, putting my stuff in, and taking a look at the mini and all this stuff, cannot stress without a doubt that this was money well spent. Jazza, if you watch this video, this is, in my opinion, your best product you have made. This is my new art bag. This thing right here, this is my old art bag. Yeah, no, it's going in the closet because that's going to be a memory. This is what I'm going to take into professional world. And I just want to thank you so much for making this bag, for listening to feedback, for developing something that is going to last for years. And if you guys did not get a chance to pick up this bag, I'm so sorry. This is like legitimately the best art bag I've ever seen. I am blown away with everything. This is money well spent. The stretch goals, the muse, the, the custom like piece of artwork that's autographed. I'm going to frame this and put this somewhere in the studio. I am blown away. My wife's going to love light. This is one of those things where I'm ending the video so happy and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was really enlightening. Hopefully you guys learned about the bag and why I was so just like talking about it, really invested in it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Scratch out for more animation based content. Stay tuned because we'll be doing a follow up video. We'll be doing some urban sketching. We're going out. We're testing this. We'll be doing a follow up, really putting this thing through the test. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Jay Rod of Alpha Productions. I draw a pal on my own soul. You guys have a great day and keep being creative.